I'll show you how you can make a spool rack out of 3D printed blocks right here on Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. For this project, I'm going to use the Stemfy blocks from Stemfy.org. And what I like about them is you can actually modify them how you want in Blender, in FreeCAD, in OpenSCAD, or even Tinkercad, which is what I like to do. But what I really like is you can enlarge them. So let's take a standard 0.2 layer height and slice a beam. 13 minutes to make this little four hole beam. But upsize it to 500% and this thing gets huge. On an Ender 3, I gotta turn it at an angle in order to print it. So just rotate it. I'm gonna go, let's just say you're 41 degrees. It fits and now I can print this thing. But it's gonna take a lot longer. Seven hours and 22 minutes just to print this one beam and a lot more plastic. So I put my print farm to work. I have an Ender 3 Max, an Ender 3 V2, an Ender 3 Pro, and an Ender 3 Standard. In addition to this, I have a belt printer, the CR30, which I've showed in previous videos. Here I can print really long ones, including the ones that go off the bed onto the rollers. But that takes more time and I've only got one of those. So what I've been doing is just running my print farm and printing as much as I can because I'm just building a whole set of blocks. Screws, nuts, longer screws, special couplings and spacers, and then a whole bunch of different custom brackets like these angled brackets and really, really long bars so I can build pretty much anything I want. Now what I also did is I took their box beams and then I put threaded nuts on each end. That way they're threaded and I can screw these things together if I want to build something. So if I have an Ender 3 only available, I can print a couple threes and then screw them together with this coupling that I made with a couple screws. Now since I've done this, I think they've released box beams with threaded ends. Probably a lot better design than mine, but it works for me because now I can take two threes, screw them together with this coupling, Tighten it up and I have a six beam. Now to test my designs, I'm still gonna use the small Stemfy blocks. Print them at point two and 12 hours to print everything I need for my spool holder. And here's the pieces. I actually printed on two different printers in two colors. So let's throw it together. Here's the basic design. It's three shelves and the spools will fit between those big box beams. So now I need to go to my shelf with all the big parts and put this same thing together. And here it is, 500% scale of the original. That's quite a difference. And this does use the two piece beams. And these are a lot easier to assemble because these screws fit my hands better. So let's put some spools on this and see if it works. They fit just fine and it's really solid. And I think this is fun. Now, yeah, there's a lot of wasted plastic and a lot of print time, but that's why I put it in the print farm, so I can just print a whole bunch of them and do different things. Like, I'd like to print a 3D printed chair, maybe a side table for my office, so then I have 3D printed furniture. I'd like to take my spool racer that I've showed in previous videos and build a 3D printed version of the spool racer. So, I'm going to have these actually at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival at the end of the month, so anyone who visits that, it's in Goshen, Indiana, they can stop by and play with them and maybe come up with some interesting ideas. And you don't have to build big like this. You can build it small to see if the idea is going to work before you invest any time or plastic into it. And you can print them smaller so it all fit on an Ender 3. It doesn't have to make it as big. So I just, I think they're a lot of fun. So I'm just going to continue to print them and play with them. And then eventually I'll have grandchildren and they can come over and play with my blocks. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.